I'm curious for you, Claire, I think it's been, a, I would say, a little bit of a moment since you've kind of done something a little more period like this. So I'm just curious what drew you to the role of Cora and what made her an appealing character to take on? Um, well, I mean, yes, she's, she's of a different time, but actually she feels incredibly vital and contemporary. Um, and she's just um, very alive, right? Uh, she's kind of spilling over with enthusiasm and uh, eagerness and, um, uh, you know, and she had been abused and repressed, uh, but, but when, you know, she's um, released from that, um, Mm, that kind of gilded cage that she'd been held hostage and uh she she rises to the surface almost immediately and and i and i just found the playing of that to be really um really enjoyable and um kind of kind of fascinating and fun and i love I love uh, all the different relationships that she she gets to have, and 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 how um, love is imagined and explored and articulated through all of these um, different relationships, and and that you know her her connection to Martha is as critical as it is to Will. You know, I. I I really appreciated that. Speaking of Will, Tom, your character is someone I think who feels a sense of duty, not only to his family, but to the village, you know, where he lives. How does Cora's arrival um, kind of challenge his world? In, in almost every way. Um, Cora is bright and curious and sophisticated and, um, and has no fear of questions. And Will is initially careful about Cora's curiosity, specifically in, in the Essex Serpent. For Will, the, 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 the rumor or the superstition that this ancient winged dragon that is swimming beneath the waters of the estuary is, is going to destabilize the mental well being of, of his parishioners and create enormous anxiety. And he's trying to help everyone stay calm um but i think cora ins invigorates and inspires in him a, a another kind of intellectual curiosity and they spark off one another and begin a, a friendship that's grounded in in um ideas and exploration and and it throws him off center in every way I would love to talk about where you filmed this series because I think the location of this show, you know, Essex really feels like its own character in a lot of ways and the mood that it lends to this premise and the story. For you both, how do you feel it lent more authenticity to the show or maybe even kind of enhanced your own performance in, in getting to film in these locations? Well, I mean, it was very striking. It was very beautiful and it was very wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's true. I mean, so much of the story is about the environment and about, um, you know, the stirring quality of nature, which mm. kind of transcends both um, religion and science. You know, it's, it's, that's the, um, the, it's the sublime, right? That they both are, um, you know, kind of, uh, enraptured with, uh, you know, and, and um, yeah, uh, so, so it was, it's a critical part of, of the story. Um, but yeah, it uh, was uh, definitely um, an undertaking. Yes. It was very windy. <laughs> it was very windy and very wet. Yes, but it was, the, it was sort of elemental yeah. and evocative and uh and sometimes sometimes just you just had to be in the landscape and and be part of it and and um sometimes the landscape was working with 
uh-huh. with the story, <laughs> but occasionally very beautiful. And yeah. I know I, 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 uh, I loved, I loved all of it in a way. I loved the intensity of it. Um, not having to supply with my imagination. That's because, right. Uh, I mean, nothing was simulated. Yeah. Really, uh, very little was created in post. <laughs> you know, yeah. there was something wonderful about that. Something else I think such an important element to this show, the costumes are fabulous. Claire, I think you probably have the most outfits in which the the fantastic design really gets to be shown off. Um, I'd love for you to talk about how Cora's journey as a character is kind of reflected in her costuming and, and the changes that we see her under undergo through the series, like as her as her outfits sort of change too. Yeah, no, Jane, our costume designer, was amazingly gifted. Um, and she did so much of my job for me. Uh, uh, and I took sort of endless inspiration from what I found myself wearing. <laughs> um, but no, I think she she really articulated visually so much of Cora's um, uh, uh, trajectory. And, uh, you know, and also it was, it, 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 did, it was a great service to me bec- because, you know, when she's in London and she's in that restricted space, that's her, the, 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 that is um, kind of uh, really reinforced by what she's wearing. Mm. And conversely, when she's in Essex, you know, the clothes are much more forgiving and she can literally exhale. Um, so that, you know, that was all a great gift. But yeah, no, the, the, um, the aesthetics of the show, I think are are really fantastic. Your characters are definitely, I would say, philosophically opposed when it comes to the existence of this serpent and whether or not it's real. But I am curious, outside of your characters, would you be a skeptic or a believer in the Essex serpent in real life? I'd be an optimistic skeptic. (laughs) Which which is to say... (laughs) Okay. Which is to say, I'd be open to the idea that it might be there. Right. Maybe that's what Cora occupies. But I mean, I, I don't think I would, until it was disproved, I don't mind the unknown, especially in the water. Um, that's an odd thing to say, but I mean, uh, the, the humility of not knowing, but the humility created by not knowing. And I think being able to just live there is a, is a brave thing. Yeah, I mean, I think Cora is, desperate to finally have a chance to figure out who she is that's that that had been denied her for a long time so all that digging of the earth is just a helpful way for her to start doing that more internally so it's really about that for her that's all the time i have but thank you so much for taking the time to sit and talk with me about the show 